Hey, I'm Chris Berman, coming up on ESPN. A trip to the Twin Cities and the Metro Dome in Minneapolis as the NFL and ESPN continues with what, on paper at least, looks to be a very intriguing matchup. St. Louis Rams, Minnesota Vikings, now. Well, the fans are looking for their seats as the teams are down on the field warming up. Hi, folks. I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. And my sidekick, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, both of these teams have, uh, well, some very talented players holding down the safety positions. Wouldn't you agree? No question about it, Dan. Safeties are often literally the last line of defense. And these are reliable as they come. Keith Lyle is one heck of a strong safety. He's got an excellent mind for football, Dan, and his determination to make the most of every down means that you very rarely see him make a bad play. Warming up across the field is another tremendous football player. Thomas is a Pro Bowl free safety, ranking among the very best in the game. He always keeps himself totally focused on the task at hand so that he can play at his fullest capacity on every down. I tell you what, Dan, both these guys have potential to light it up today. Well, all right, Peter, we'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses, but first, the coin toss. It's heads. Jeff Wilkins kicking off. There's the, the signal, and we're ready. It's time for Viking football. Wilkins boots the opening kickoff. Walters downs this in the end zone for a touchback. Go far the Vikings far will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. the rope this right side and complete. that will be good for a gain of eight with the tackle Dante Culpepper dissected the double coverage with a pass that was prettier than a stadium full of cheerleaders Peter what a nice second pickup to get them into a second and short situation a great play and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next <laughs> Smith shoots up four Vikings. yards and that will bring up first down First down, 10 yards to go. Four receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. 37 first makes down, a tough Viking. catch and is well past the markers for a first down. called on first down and picks up a couple. Second and seven. Ball at the 49. Reels in the football and that's good for six. Dante Culpepper uses his size to his advantage. 6'4", 264. This guy's following the trend of bigger and bigger quarterbacks we're seeing in the NFL. Come on, Third down with two tight ends to the right. Ball at the 43. Pepper throws a lob here, and the ball is caught at the 28, 10. First and out of bounds at the two. It'll be first and goal. Harold Morrow really comes to play on this baby. He makes the solid catch, and then he takes off. Check it out. Give him an inch, and he'll steal every yard he can. A nice run after the catch, and that's what they expect from him. <laughs> that's his job description. You won't see him running a post route, but you will see him make plays off those shorter catches. 
Oh, a lot of weapons out there, Dan. They can get you through the air or on the ground. Carter goes in motion. Davis didn't Passes haul that incomplete. one in, and it falls Davis incomplete. Was the Jones was on the short out from Jones the get-go on that last play and was able to get in there and make sure it was incomplete. That would have been a touchdown, but instead the defense comes up big and forced the incompletion. Way to prevent the big play. It'll be second down. Smith gets the handoff and the heads left. He's in for touchdown, the touchdown. Viking. Nice little run here. A good job of slicing through the deep and picking up the yards that he needed. I love to see fight like that on those shorter plays. He'll get the touchdown and he does it in style. Beautiful play. Now the extra point and the extra point is good. gets the signal and we're set. Anderson booms a beauty here. Number 82 downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Rams send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 20 yard line. Bruce catches the bullet out left and he picks up nine. Kurt Warner laid this pass in beautifully, rendering the defense irrelevant. When you can Second make accurate throws like that, the whole field starts to open up for you. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Hulk has his number called on second down and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Marshall Falk didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. I guess the defense had their number. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Corey Holt tried to snag that one across the middle, but it doesn't happen. Third and short, and they just can't get the completion. Why did they go with the run, Peter? Well, I would have, but I'm not the coach. He's obviously got other plans. It'll be fourth down. Baker lines up to punt after the three and out. Baker takes the snap and punts it away. Walters heals the punt at the 31. Tackled at the 33. Troy Walters got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Vikings had an effective first drive, and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at their 33-yard line. Collins gets the sack at the 30. Todd Collins nails his man behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. Oh, yeah, that's a great job of getting to the quarterback. Nice sack. They put a stop to this play behind Second the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call oh, by the like defensive coordinator. Yards. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Smith takes his fourth carry of the game and searches for a hole. Brought down at the 32. Number 20 used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not third much of a 10. game there, and they will oh, face the third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. Jones tips it away on the coverage. Holding. Incomplete. Number 70, defense. Five-yard penalty, automatic first Jones down. Jones got a little worked up trying to contain his man on that one and ended up holding. That was a good call by the official. First down, First one man back. Ball at the Vikings, 37-yard line. Randy, Randy, go! Back, back. Williams goes in motion. Smith takes the ball on first down and picks up a couple. 
Kevin Carter with the tackle. Second and seven. Ball at the Vikings, 39-yard line. Smith gains three yards, and that will bring up third down. And that'll do it for That's quarter the number the one. Quarter. The Vikings are out in front, seven to nothing. Pepper throws a bullet to the flat and Passes it is not reeled in incomplete. Randy Moss, was the Randy Moss went to the outside on that last play had some room but couldn't make the catch incomplete. That seems to be an odd call Peter. It fell only, incomplete but good. even if they had caught it they still would have been Number short of the first down. The I don't like those calls either. Gotta get past the markers on those routes. It'll be fourth down. Berger gets the snap and punts it away. Number 82 takes it at the 20. Tackled at the 32. Number 82 did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Rams stalled early last drive and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 32 yard line. Ball cruises out to the left side and picks up a couple. Second and eight. Ball at the Rams, 34-yard line. Kroll goes in motion. Bruce catches it left sideline and gets past the markers for a first down. First down, Rams. Isaac Bruce has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they First remove and the chain. Points. Great execution. First down, tight end to the left. Warner unloads this to the right sideline, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Hauls it in right side, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Warner rifles this one to the end zone, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Incomplete. Robert Griffith with the deflection. Hauls grabs the rope right side and is well past the markers for a first down. Warner ropes this one to the end zone and it's caught for a touchdown. Kurt Warner lays this one in beautifully. Gotta see it one more time. Right on the money, Peter. He effectively rendered the defense irrelevant by being so accurate. Yeah, they might as well have been 10 yards away. Peter, that's his first touchdown Jeff pass of the to game. The extra How do his stats look? Well, Smith, so far, it. he's got 75 yards and one touchdown. Now the extra point, the extra and point is good. it's good. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. What I tell you? What I tell you? All day. All day. Me. All day. Come on. There's the signal, and we're ready. Wilkins kicks it off. Walters fields it all the way back at the three. Stopped at the 25. Troy Walters was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Vikings could take the lead before halftime as their offense will start at their own 25-yard line. Smith gets his seventh 
carry of the game and picks up a couple. Number 32 with the tackle. Culpepper fires this one over the middle and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. First down with three receivers to the left. Number 87 Passes didn't incomplete. haul that one in and it falls incomplete. Was the intended receiver. Number 54 with the coverage. Smith is at the 40. Finally dropped at the 29. That will bring up first down. No dice and it falls incomplete. Number 87. Number 87 looked like he was, was the in the perfect receiver. position back there to make the catch, but he just couldn't do it. He was wide open to boot. Incomplete. That falls incomplete, Second but it would have been a minimal gain had they completed it anyway. Second down, three wide outs in the game. Culpepper zings it to the right side, and it's Passes tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Keith Lyle, Keith Lyle managed to disrupt things. He got in there, and he smacked that pass away. Great D. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Third nice pressure that time. Bush tips Passes it away incomplete. on the coverage, incomplete. Bush that will bring up fourth down. Bush came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Well, the D holds tight on third and you long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call Robert by the Griffin defensive holding. coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Anderson boots it from 46 yards out and they take the lead. Gary Anderson gets the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. The ref gets the signal and we're set. Anderson booms a beauty here. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. The Rams First offense ten, comes out goes. and has an opportunity to tie it before halftime. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Wow, the Marshall Falk had that one come Marshall right Falk to him back the there. You have to receiver. catch those passes, baby. Peter, even With though he's a back versus a wideout, it, it's still rare to see him Second drop those. Ten. Yeah, you're right, Dan. For, for a back, he's got great hands. Griffith hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Number 95 for sitting back in the zone, waiting for the pass, and then closes enough to force the incompletion. Nice job. Lofts this one out to the left, and it's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. 25 came in and got a hand on that football. It left no chance for a reception there. Baker lines up to punt after the three and out. Baker takes the long snap and punts it away. Walters fields the punt at the 40. Stopped at the 45. The Troy Walters did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Vikings are looking for some separation before half and will start this drive at the 45-yard line. Carter goes in motion. Go, 
Culpepper throws a bullet to the flat, and the completion is good for six. Dante Culpepper demonstrated his arm strength back there with a solid cross-field pass. Another short, controlled pass for the completion. Their short game has been pretty good. About par, yeah. They, they haven't been nickel and diming them, but they've been nickeling them. Second down, both tight ends left. Smith gets the handoff Smith, the and carrier. only gets back to the line of scrimmage. With the tackle. Culpepper passes a high, long one, passes and this in one is incomplete. Chris Carter. Chris Carter. Carter. That's a room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the, the pass. Coverage. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play Jerry was Anderson, more proof. Boy, third is down. such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, Holden. it really hurts. Fourth down, three yards to go. Anderson kicks this one from 56 yards out, and it's good. Gary Anderson really gets the whole ball here, and he needed it. Watch. That's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. The field goal will extend their lead some here in the first half. It's still early, but the momentum is definitely behind them now. There's the signal, and we're ready. Anderson rockets this one deep. Number 82 downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Rams bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Bruce snags the missile and tries to get free. 35. The Rams take their first time out. First and 10. Ball at the 27th. Warner throws a bullet to the flat and it's the Rams will take a timeout. That's their second. Second down, second empty backfield. Ball at the 24 yard line. Holt didn't haul that one in and it falls incomplete. Number 27 had superb coverage on that play. No wonder it was incomplete. This is the series here, baby. You gotta stop. Warner really rifles this first pass, down, and they get the first on third and long. Time to make a first down first with the goal. tight end right. Ball at the seventh. <laughs> The Rams take a timeout. That's their final one. Warner ropes this one to the end zone and it's tipped. Incomplete. Kenny Wright came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Paul catches it over the middle and is at the 10. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. Griffith was in on the tackle. That will bring up fourth and goal. Fourth down, goal to go. Wilkins with a 23-yarder, and it's good. Jeff Wilkins puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for it. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Wilkins rockets this one deep. Walters downs this in the end zone for a touchback. 
And that'll do it for the first the half of this the one. Quarter. The Vikings with a small lead, 13 to 10. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dave, interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Rams should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Harold Morrow emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. A 41-yard play that set up a Viking touchdown. The Vikings get the first points of the game and go up by seven. Rams now in the second quarter, the ball at the 41. Kurt Warner connected with his man on this one. A 21-yard play that set up a Ram touchdown. The Vikes trying to answer back. Game tied, seven all. Smith is gonna take this one right up the gut. Look at the burst as he busts into the secondary. There he goes. The Vikes have it again. Gary Anderson would be summoned for the long field goal try. His kick would be right through. A 57 yard field goal. Vikes ahead, 13 to seven. The Reverend Isaac Bruce came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. That set up a short 23-yard field goal. And that's where we'll leave this one. Vikes are holding on to a lead, 13 to 10. Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance thus far. Tory Holt has played like a man possessed. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Rams will receive to start the second half, and this is a tight contest. Gary Currently, Anderson they're down the 13 to 10. Let's go down to the field. Anderson kicks it off to begin the second half. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, there's the drive results, and the thing I want to talk about is how close this game is. When the score is like it is, one single mistake can change the whole game. They need to be careful here. Let's go down to Susie Culber, who has an update for us. Susie? Thank you, Dan. Head coach Mike Tice First told me during the half Lewis. that he's pretty content with their overall execution. They've done an excellent job of stopping the run in the first half, as we've seen. Unfortunately, they've allowed some big pass plays. We'll see whether they can alter their coverage or their blitz packages in the second half. Back to you, fellas. Thanks, Susie. Paul chews up four carrier. yards, and that brings Daniel, up second down. Going over this all we can practice. Now we're going to get it this time. Now we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute, okay. we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, okay fellas? Second down from the eye. Ball at the Rams, 24-yard line. Picks up a couple. Marshall Falk used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Bruce makes the catch out to the left, and that's not enough. He's short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. McDaniel brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. That's his second tackle so far. Baker gets ready to punt this away. Baker gets the ball and punts it away. Walters takes it at the 32. Round to a halt at the 41. Troy Walters did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Vikings bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their 41-yard line. Carter goes in motion. Black, 43. Grabs the fastball over the middle and 
Newton is well past the markers for a first down. Randy Moss reels in the catch despite being covered by two defenders. Dan, I guess he just can't be intimidated. Check this out. Oh, yeah, it's all about being focused. He had his eye on the ball the whole time. He knew where he had to be. He hits his man for a pickup of nine. Dante Culpepper threw the pass into double coverage, but gets his man perfectly. Hey, that was one accurate throw. Another Second short pass, and he likes that area of the field so far. Yeah, why not? He's had success there. Smith will get the carry. Second down, and picks up the first down. First down, two wideouts on the field. Moss goes in motion. Smith picks up six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Number 20 took advantage of some really good blocking there on that last run. Second when you get three. the initial surge like ball that, good things happen, line. especially in the ground game. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Smith goes right up the middle and picks up the first down. Number 63 is the reason that last play was successful. He opened up a huge hole for the ball carrier, allowing him to gain some valuable yards. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Oh, look at those numbers. That's how to get it done on the ground. Culpepper throws a heater right sideline and... The Chris ball Carter, is caught for a game complete. of seven on the play. Number 21. Chris Carter attack. made a fantastic catch in double coverage. Keep getting him the ball, guys. Three, I think the three. short game is working for ball them, moving 11. them forward a little at a time. Yeah, just nickel and diming the D. <laughs> Smith gains three yards, and that will bring up Keith third Lyle down. With the tackle. Keith Lyle just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers, but... <laughs> The only thing that's going to grow there is the D's morale. They hold pretty firm there, and they've got to do it again on third and short. Lost Collins tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. That will bring up fourth down. Todd Collins targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They come up with the big play, and on third and short, they force the fourth down. Yeah, they even caused a loss of yardage. What a time to come up big. Anderson from 26 yards out, and it's through the uprights. Gary Anderson has no problem getting this one between the sticks for three. Oh, he was so close. He could have made that if he was wearing wooden clogs. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I have a feeling we'll never know for sure. That field goal makes him three for three out there. Hasn't missed one yet. And you can't coach that. There's the signal, and we're ready. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. The Rams stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Holcomb goes in motion. Nice catch and is well past the markers for a first down. Kurt Warner gets it past two defenders on this one. What a throw. It's worth a second look. That's what you call confidence. Throwing into double coverage like that. And, and what accuracy to boot. Quarter. What a pass. And he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 176 yards and one touchdown. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Vikings are out in front 16 to 10. Gains five on the play, and that will bring up second down. 
Second, Second down, down with a split backfield. Ball at the Rams, 44-yard line. Ball gets the call again and heads up field. Brought down at the 50. First down. First down, Rams. Marshall Falk played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. First nice second down call, Ball and they the will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Warner fires this one over the middle, and incomplete. it's tipped incomplete. Time with the deflection. Kurt Warner showing off some precision passing out there, Dan. Clearly, he's exploiting the short game so far, and he's got 176 yards and one touchdown. Second and 10. All at the Rams, 50 yard line. Ball gets his seventh carry of the game and picks up a couple. Marshall Falk got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Third down, eight yards to go. Warner unloads this to the, the right sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. McDaniel couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. Yeah, that is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Baker lines up for the punt. Baker takes the long snap and punts it away. Walters fair catches it at the 15. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. When you check out the drive results, Dan, you can see that they've had to resort to field goals a few more times than they would have liked. You have to take advantage of the opportunities and punch it in. The Vikings offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at their own 16-yard line. Number 92 sacks him back at the 13. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Check this out. You see this right here? You feel this? All right. I had hurt. Right there, right there. Don't worry. Just oh, it's going to be all right, man. You're going to be all right. Let me help you. Let me help you. Come on. Come on. You got to get Come on. I need you to get back to us. Come on. Let's go. going to be all right to play? Second down, Second and one man back. Ball at the Vikings, 13-yard line. Smith takes the handoff and gets past the line. The ball Tackled at the 14. Leonard Little with the tackle. Let's stand tall. Third and 11. Ball at the Vikings, 14-yard line. Cole Pepper unloads this one to the left, and it's tipped. This is incomplete. Incomplete. Keith that Lyle will bring up deflection. fourth down. Ah, Keith Lyle got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball Your of the game. Yeah, great read there. Berger lines up deep Number in his own territory to return. punt it away. <laughs> Berger gets the ball and pummels this one deep. Number 82 fields the deep punt at the 40. Drag down at the 50. Number 82 returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Rams had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 50-yard line. Warner throws a heater and it's intercepted. Tackled at the 41. The 27 knows why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. 
great presence of mind to try for the football there. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Vikings are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 41-yard line. Smith picks up six on the play, and that brings up second down. Second and three. Ball at the Vikings, 47-yard line. Smith takes this one Smith, way out carrier. left and picks up Number a couple. With the tackle. Third down, both two. tight ends Stand. left. Ball at the Vikings, 49-yard line. Third down Third with two, two tight ends to the right. Ball at the Vikings, 49-yard line. Rips him. The Rams take their first time out. Berger lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 82 to make the return. Berger gets the snap and punts it away. Number 82 fields the punt at the 14. Brought down at the 19. Number 82 didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Rams will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 1.48. Bruce catches it in the Isaac flat, Bruce. and Pass that will stop the clock. At Isaac Bruce got out of bounds at the end of the run and wisely stopped the clock. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down. The second clock is stopped at 145. 20-yard line. Fires this one over the middle, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Pass interference, number 20, 